Hey guys, Ludicrous Kingdom here. Happy Australia Day! That's right, today is January 26, which means today is Australia's National Day. So to celebrate Australia Day, I thought I'd make a little video about this great nation of ours. To not only remind my fellow Australians what an awesome country we live in, but to also do my bit for Australian tourism, and hopefully convince all my international viewers to come here and see the great nation of Australia. Let's start off with some geography. Where is Australia? Australia is located here, south of Indonesia, east of Madagascar, north of Antarctica, and west of New Zealand. Australia is an island nation, surrounded by water, or as our national anthem puts it, girt by sea. In fact, Australia, or at least mainland Australia, is the world's biggest island. Australia is divided into states and territories. To the left, you'll see Western Australia, which is so named because it takes up the entire west side of Australia and its capital city of Perth. Right next to it, going from top to bottom, is the Northern Territory and its capital city of Darwin and South Australia and its capital city of Adelaide. On the east side of Australia, you've got, going from top to bottom, Queensland and its capital city of Brisbane, where I'm from, New South Wales and its capital city of Sydney, Victoria and its capital city of Melbourne, and that island just below it is Tasmania and its capital city of Hobart. And located in southeast New South Wales is the Australian Capital Territory, which is a small territory containing our nation's capital of Canberra. It's kind of similar to the District of Columbia in the USA. Now let's take a brief look at Australia's history. Australia was originally populated by Aborigines, seen here doing a traditional Aboriginal dance. Aborigines are Australia's indigenous people. In 1770, British Captain James Cook sailed along the east coast of Australia and claimed it for Great Britain. Then, in 1788, Captain Arthur Phillip set sail from Great Britain, leading the first fleet all the way to Australia, where, on January 26, the day we celebrate Australia Day, came into Port Jackson, what we now know as Sydney Harbour. Eventually, our British ancestors would colonise all of Australia. This is the Australian flag. The Australian flag's colours are red, white and blue. See America, you're not the only ones. <laughs> In the top left hand corner we see the Union Jack, representing our British heritage. Below it is the Commonwealth Star, with each point on the star representing a different state or territory. And on the right hand side of the flag is the Southern Cross, which is a constellation that is best seen from the Southern Hemisphere. In addition to our national flag, the indigenous population also have their own flag. The Aboriginal flag was designed in 1971 by Aboriginal artist Harold Thomas. The black area at the top represents the Aboriginal people. The red area down the bottom represents the earth and the spiritual connection to it. And the yellow circle in the middle represents the sun, the giver of life. This is Parliament House, where the Australian government, including the Prime Minister, run the country from our nation's capital of Canberra. Australia has had 27 Prime Ministers in total, and here they are, in order. Sir Edmund Barton, Alfred Deakin, Chris Watson, George Reid, Andrew Fisher, Joseph Cook, Billy Hughes, Stanley Bruce, James Scullin, Joseph Lyons, Sir Earl Page, Robert Menzies, Arthur Fadden, John Curtin, Frank Ford, Ben Chifley, Harold Holt, John McEwen, John Gorton, William McMahon, Gough Whitlam, Malcolm Fraser, Bob Hawke, Paul Keating, John Howard, Kevin Rudd, and our current Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, who was also the first ever female Prime Minister of Australia. Australia is also home to some of the most beautiful animals in the world. Crikey! <laughs> Some of these animals include the kangaroo, the echidna, the koala, the emu, and the wombat. We also have quite a few tourist attractions, such as 
Ayers Rock, Luna Park, the Sydney Opera House, the Wheel of Brisbane, and some of our more bigger attractions like the Big Banana, the Big Prawn, and the Big Pineapple. Now you'll probably want to buy some souvenirs while you're down here, and to do that you'll need some good old Australian currency. These are our coins. On the top row you see the head side of each coin, on the bottom row the tail side. Going from left to right we have the one cent coin, the two cent coin, the five cent coin, the ten cent coin, the twenty cent coin, the fifty cent coin, the one dollar coin, and the two dollar coin. The one and two cent coins were actually discontinued in 1991. These are our notes, or bills as you would call them in America. From top to bottom we have the hundred dollar note, which is green, the fifty dollar note, which is yellow, the twenty dollar note, which is red, the ten dollar note, which is blue, and the five dollar note, which is pink. Australian dollar notes used to be made of paper, but during the 90s they gradually made the change from paper to plastic. And now a lesson on how to speak Australian. G'day. G'day is a typical greeting in Australia. It is the abbreviation of good day. Example sentence. G'day, how's it going? Mate. Mate is a word used to describe somebody's friend. It can also be used in pretty much the same context as an American would use the word buddy or pal. Example sentence. See that guy over there? He's my best mate. Or, ah, oh, thanks mate. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum is a term used to describe a statement that is truthful, or an honest person. Example sentence. Oh, is that fair dinkum? Or, oh yeah, he's a pretty fair dinkum bloke. And speaking of bloke, the word bloke is used to describe someone of the male gender. Example sentence. Oh, that guy over there, he's a pretty good bloke. And on the flip side to that, the word Sheila is used to describe someone of the female gender. Example sentence. Excuse me, you're a very beautiful Sheila, if you don't mind me saying so. And finally, oi. The word oi is usually used when trying to gain someone's attention. Example sentence. Oi, get over here. And there you go. Hopefully you've learnt something about our great nation of Australia, and if you do come from another country, I really hope that you'll consider Australia for your next vacation spot. So, what are you waiting for? Come on over! And to my fellow Australians, I hope that you're having a bloody awesome Australia day. And a safe one too. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you for watching once again. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I'm going to leave you with the Australian National Anthem. So until next time, this is Ludicrous Kingdom, signing off.